I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Okay, today's project is animal idioms. And idioms is a figure of speech that means something different than a literal translation of the words would lead one to believe. What does that mean? I'll tell you at the end. Let's set up our paper first. We're going to draw a tic-tac-toe graph to make our boxes. So it's two straight lines down, two straight lines across. Okay? Box number one. Put a dot. We're going to draw a curved line, straight diagonal up, down, and leave it floating. Come back to the dot, curve line down, straight diagonal out, down, and leave it floating. Starting right here where we left, we're just going to draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line up and connect. We're going to come inside and draw a flat oval and one curved line on the right, one curved line on the left. We come right here in the center and we're just going to draw a curved line up to the left, curved line up to the right. But right here we're going to draw a curved line up, connect. We're going to go ahead and color this in because we want it to look like the mouth is open. Then we're going to come over here on the left and draw a curved line down, up, Connect, come on the right hand side, curve line down, over, connect, jump over a little bit, put a little curve line. This is a cat nap. I'm going to put some Z's so we know the cat is asleep. And what is a cat nap? It is a short sleep. So, somebody would say, I'm taking a cat nap before dinner. Alright, next box. Put a dot. We're going to draw a big curve line down and over. Come back to the dot. Big curve line down, over, up, connect. Straight diagonal in, out, in, connect. Curve line up, down, connect. Straight diagonal up, down, up down connect. Right where the dot is a slightly wavy line, little straight line, baby circle, but we're going to put a half curved line inside and we're going to fill in this part of the eyeball and put a little curved line right there because this animal idiom is fishy. Fishy. I'm going to put a little wavy line, wavy line, wavy line. Alright, fishy. What does that mean? It means that something is odd or suspicious. And an example would be, I knew something was fishy when I didn't get an invitation. Alright, next box right here. Put a dot, wavy, wavy line over, Leave it floating. Come back to the dot. Wavy line down, wavy line over, wavy line up, connect. Right in the center, put a dot. Curve line to the left, straight diagonal up, down, wavy line, leave it floating. Come back to the dot. Curve line out, straight diagonal up, down, wavy line, in, leave it well, yeah, a little bit more floating. Right here, flat oval, curve to the left, curve to the right, dot, dot, one, two, straight lines, one, two, three, straight lines. Now I come over on the right side and I just draw a curved line, little baby circle, and over on the left side I'm just going to draw a curved line out. And this is let the cat out 
of the bag. Let the cat out of the bag. And what does that mean? That means that you give up a secret or something you didn't want other people to know. She let the cat out of the bag about getting married. All right, come to this next row, put a dot. We're going to draw a curved line, leave it floating. Come back to the dot, straight diagonal out, in, down, up. Connect with that little curved line and come on top. Curve line, curve line, curve line. Right here, we're going to draw a straight diagonal out. Wavy, wavy line down, up, leave it floating. Come over here and we are going to draw a curve line up, wavy line down, leave that floating. Right here in the center, wavy line, wavy line, dot. Now let's put little straight line, little straight line. Down at the bottom, wavy line, wavy line, connect. This is chicken out. Chicken out. You started out to do something and then you chickened out. Let's put a little curved line connect right here. And what does that mean in a sentence? I was going to go on Bob's motorcycle, but then all of a sudden I chickened out. Meaning that, oh, sorry, don't want to go now. All right, middle box. We're going to draw a straight diagonal, curve line up, curve line down, curve line up off the page. Right here we're going to draw a curve line, little straight, well little curve line, curve lines, little straight line, little straight line, and we're going to draw some teeth. So we're just going to draw some teeth. Alright, next to it, straight diagonal up, out, curve line up, straight line, curve line down, Curve line over, up, connect, straight diagonal, straight diagonal, straight diagonal, up, down, up, down, wavy, wavy, wavy line. Let's put another curve line, little curve lines, little curve lines, more teeth, wavy, wavy, dot, dot. This is horse around. And the sentence would be, do not horse around in the living room. You're going to knock over a lamp and make me crazy. Okay. Next one. Put a dot. Curve line to the right. Come back to the dot. Curve line to the left. Come over here on the right and just draw a wavy line up, down, connect. Come on the left, wavy or curve line down, wavy line up, connect. Right about here, we're just going to draw a curve line in on the left, curve line in on the right. Little curve line down on the left, little curve line down on the right. Leave them floating. Dot, dot, curve line around, connect. Little baby circle, little baby circle. Starting over here on the left, we're going to cover this up with a wavy line, wavy line up, connect. Now we can add curve line down on the left, curve line down on the right. This is pig out. There's our piggy. Sentence. Do not pig out on ice cream before you eat your dinner. Okay. Next one. I like this one. Come over here on the left, put a dot, and we're just going to draw a wavy line up, over, leave it floating, come back to the dot, wavy line over, up, connect. Now, come back to the left, wavy line down, over, up, connect, and right here, one dot, two dots. Now we add wavy lines going over, going over, going over, keep going, keep going. This is a clam, so I'm going to put some wavy lines to the side. 
Don't clam up. If you have something to say, please say it. Do not clam up. All right, next box. Put a dot on top. Straight diagonal down on the left. Straight diagonal down on the right. At the bottom, little straight line in on the left. Little straight line in on the right. Straight diagonal up. Straight diagonal down. Connect. Come on the left. Straight line down. Come on the right. Straight line down. Right at the bottom. Curve line. Connect. Inside. Curve line, curve line on the left, curve line, curve line on the right. Little flat oval, dot, dot. Curve line, connect on the left, curve line, connect on the right. Who is this? This is Bobo. And this is being in the doghouse. I forgot my homework for the fifth time and my teacher said, you belong in the doghouse. Okay. Last box. Put a dot. Curve line, curve line. Curve line, curve line, connect. Put a dot. Curve line, curve line. Curve line, curve line, connect. Right about here. Curve line, diagonal, diagonal. Curve line, connect. Curve line, diagonal, diagonal, curve line, connect. One more. Curve line, diagonal, curve line, connect. All right. One, two. One, two. Flat oval, one, two. Flat oval, one, two. Flat oval, one, two. Flat oval. Curve line out, in, curve line out, in, connect. Curve line out, in, curve line out, in, connect. Now, curve line up, connect. Curve line down, up. Curve line down, up, connect. Curve line down, up, connect. Curve line down, up, connect. What is going on? It is raining. Cats and dogs. Today there is a tropical storm and it will be raining cats and dogs. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, this time I'm putting out all of my crayons so hopefully I don't forget a color. Using my black, I'm going to come up and color this space black. And I'm going to color this space black. I'm going to come through and do all my boxes where I need them. That's the same. That's the same. That's, oh, my dog Bobo, he needs this space black, this space black, and this space black. And my rain dogs need these spaces black and this space black. Okay. Next, yellow. So let's color in Kitty, who's taking a cat nap, a short sleep. That's yellow. Let's put the Kitty over here, be yellow. Hello. I let the cat out of the bag. Now everybody knows everything. It was supposed to be a secret. All right, I already forgot. Little flat oval Kitty noses here, here, and here, and let the kitties be yellow. Okay, because it is raining, cats and dogs. Okay, now I'm going to color the inside of my dog house, the space green. I am going to color My something seems fishy. Let's do this green, green, green. Something seems fishy. Blue, green. You will do a way better job than me. 
and know that you can color pretty much everything any color you want these are just suggestions okay and I'm going to do this red and I'm going to do this apricot I'm going to do my pig out apricot my horsing around horses let's do these guys apricot okay and we got some pink happening on my bag straight lines let that cat out of the bag it was a, supposed to be a secret now it's not here's piggy this space should all be pink hokey dokey pigging out uh ba 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 let's see all right let's do my chicken don't chicken out follow through if you said you were going to do it unless it's dangerous here's my orange hokey dokey and let's add just a little bit of brown on my horsing around horses and let's add a little curve lines on my mud and not but lastly not but last least Let's add some gray lines to my clam. I love this clam. Clam up. Don't say a word. Clam up. All right. And my rain should be blue for a little pop of color. Hokey dokey. All right. Let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, animal idioms are fun. They punch up your sentences and are very creative. Plus, there's more than just these. There's a whole bunch of other ones that you can use. Okay, bye-bye.